Michael Keaton said it best in Beetlejuice. It's showtime. Sports Express is back for week three of high school football, and it may, in fact, be our best yet. What you didn't think, another week of rain was really going to stop us now, did you? Let's keep it in the conference to start things off. A Marrowood matchup, Marathon and Abbotsford scoreless in the second quarter. Ty Faltasek goes round the outside, round the outside, and finishes with the dive for some pizzazz. Miss PAT put the Falcons up 6-0. Not for long, though, on the ensuing Red Raiders drive, it's third in Door County, Ben Robbins. 34 yards to Jaden Kohler setting up first and goal where Matt Annis punches it in. After that, this one all Abby though, they end up winning by 30. Over in Stratford, the Tigers welcoming in the Manawa Wolves to town. First quarter, first and goal Stratford. Gavin Kirsch takes the handoff running hard, breaking tackles and breaking the plane right there. Tigers go up 7-0. Manawa looks to respond but is forced to punt. The ball sails over the punter's head and he can't do much but keep it out of the end zone. Stratford takes over two plays later, second and two from the two. Hand off to number two, a whole bunch of twos. Ray Smart, he gets six and he has the second score of the game. Back to that two theme as Stratford racks up the points. 47 to six is the win. Over in Wisconsin Rapids, Wild Rose taking on Assumption. And today was all about the run game. Starting things off, Assumption pounding the ball through the Wildcats defense. A QB option, it ends up being running back Cade Stats getting the ball at the end for a nice little first down there. And that sets up the big man, number 26, Nick LeBerg, running it in with ease, making it six nothing for the Royals. But where there's power, there's also some speed, and it's for the Wildcats. Number one, Ethan Tratz on a big run down the sideline for 25. But Wild Rose would never see the end zone. The Royals pitch a shutout, 46 to nothing. Now over in Stevens Point, Appleton West taking on Spash, and Spash making a splash early, already up 26 to nothing in the second half on a nice little RB screen. It's Colby Hintz taking it up inside the five yard line, and why not continue things through the air? QB Riley Warzinski finding the big tight end, Danny Droit for the touchdown. Panthers up 32 0. Appleton West trying to mount a comeback here. QB Nathan Shannon throwing an absolute dime down the field to Chris Meyer. He takes it inside the five, but they cannot take advantage of the big play. This one, all Panthers, they win 41 to six. And with that, we have reached our first commercial break. But before you go, here are a few other local scores set to the sound of the DC Everest Band.